this is John with Light of the Scripture, encouraging you to get deep into the Word of God uh, so that uh, you can be protected against the uh, evil mindset of this world. Uh, I want to encourage you to give a thumbs up or a like or uh, just uh, subscribe uh, to our channels because uh, we're on social media and we're trying to get the Word of God out to as many people as possible. And we can do that when our channels grow. So the more that you interact with our channels, the more uh, people will get to see these. It triggers the algorithms that run the Internet. And uh, today we're going to look at Romans chapter 5, verse 1. It says, Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, with peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, there we're getting, we're looking at the concept of justification, being made just right by the acts of Jesus Christ on the cross and through his resurrection from the dead. And uh, we're not just right, we're sinners, we come short of God's glory. But, uh, you know, we fall short in many, many, many ways. And uh, God knows that uh, sin has corrupted and tried to wipe humanity out. And the fact is, all of humanity had to get wiped out at one point. Back during the time of the flood, everyone except for Mo uh, Noah and his wife and his three sons and their wives. And all the other people on the planet were wiped out because sin had become so rampant. And in these last days, and I think that we are in the last days. They said it's going to be a lot like the times of Noah, where people were continuously uh, thinking of evil all the time. And they were just constantly involved in violent activity. We see lots of violence around us. We see uh, mobs and we see uh, all these immigrants coming in. And we keep hearing reports of uh, them taking over apartment buildings, trying to hijack uh, buses full of children to do who knows what with and uh, just uh, um, you know we're, we're getting terrorists coming in here and I'm not saying that all the people that are coming in are bad by no means and I, I'm, I'm actually very much in favor of legal immigration but uh, we've got a lot of people that's trying to destroy our country uh, by the uh, the politics and uh, by deceivious means. And, um, you know, we've, uh, we've got violence all around us. And it was in the time of Noah that the world was filled with violence. And uh, there was satanic activity all over the place. And uh, Jesus Christ said he's going to come back at a time that will be like the time of uh, the time of Noah. So he may be coming back soon. So what do we want to have before that? We need to be justified by Jesus Christ so that when Jesus does return, uh, he's going to return and, and snatch up his church, according to the book of uh, Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians. And uh, so uh, we'll rise to meet him in the air, the church will. And those that are dead in Christ, they will burst out of their graves, be given brand new bodies. And uh, so there will be a period of time where many, many, many Christians will leave this planet. And uh, that uh, will set in place the end time scenario that's in the book of Revelation that we see. But we can have peace with God whenever we're saved, when we're justified, when we have a relationship with him. When we receive Jesus Christ, uh, he did everything that he needed to do on the cross to pay the price for our sin, so we don't have to be guilty of it anymore. It's as if we had never sinned. And uh, so, uh, since we're justified by faith, that's how we access the grace of Jesus Christ by what he did on the cross. We believe on him and we receive him. And then we have peace that comes into us because when Christ comes into our hearts, also, the Holy Spirit comes into our heart, and uh, Jesus referred to the Holy Spirit as a helper, and the Greek word for that is the paraclete, and he's the one that's going to give us comfort, he's the one that's going to give us a peace that goes beyond understanding, passes 
beyond understanding. It's even more than we can comprehend. It's even more than makes sense. And we have that peace through Jesus Christ. Uh, whenever we receive him as Savior and Lord. You've been living a life without peace. and find it very, very hard to sleep at night. Uh, just uh, you're burdened down with guilt, burdened down with uh, anxiety and tension. Uh, you might need a relationship with Jesus. And uh, once you have a relationship with Jesus, I'm not saying that life's going to get any easier, but you have the means to deal with life. You have supernatural uh, means, the living within you, to strengthen you and to give you hope and to give you peace. And uh, when if you have a relationship like that, uh, then and you know that your sins are forgiven, and you know that you are in God's favor, then that's something that can bring peace into your life and into your heart and into your mind. And I want you to live with peace. Because we live in a world full of war and turmoil, and uh, we need to have uh, peace. And we gain that peace by faith. In Jesus Christ. This is John with Light of the Scripture encouraging you to get deep into the Word of God and let the Word of God get deep into you.